My name is DJ Edgerton. I'm the CEO and founder of Zamoga, which is a design and technology firm uh, uh, in Colombia uh, that services the United States uh, across several verticals, media and entertainment, uh, financial services, e-commerce, and uh, manufacturing, and uh, aerospace. Okay, uh, well, uh, can you tell me about uh, uh, fo the FOSS Talks, uh, Friends of Zamoga Talks? Okay, like to so FOSS Talks are, um, we started Zamoga 18 years ago, and in 18 years I've been lucky enough, and the company has been lucky enough to uh, collect a bunch of individuals who really believe about the Colombian talent pool and the workforce here, and, um, and they've, they've uh, been customers of ours, or friends of ours. So FOZ, F-O-Z, stands for Friends of Zamoga. So often clients become friends or friends become clients. It's just how we do business. We're very ethical, we're very passionate. And as uh, I saw this pool of individuals like Andy Hendrickson from Activision, who's on the board of Zamoga, I thought uh, maybe I should have these people come to Colombia and talk about what they do and share that knowledge to everyone, even my competitors. There's competitors here, I'm sure. That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's all good for Colombia. Okay, uh, how do you see the growth of the esports in Latin America? Well, Andy mentioned, uh, esports in general, I think, are going to grow dramatically. It is the fastest growing uh, uh, watchable sport, uh, I think, in the United States currently. Um, I think in Latin America, as as uh, organizations like ours and others uh, work on the consumability of watching someone play a game, um, we're not there yet. But the audience of 16 to 20 year olds who are no longer watching professional broadcast sports, um, I think that uh, that there's a huge opportunity, especially in sports like FIFA, um, yeah. you know, th there are traditional games that are now uh, in right on the cusp of becoming esports. Uh, it requires an investment uh, by the manufacturers or the publishers of the games, as well as the platforms. Uh, Sony, PlayStation is one of Zamoga's biggest clients, uh, and Colombians are building the esports platform for PlayStation, so that in and of itself should be um, an indication of where it's going. And well, do you think that streaming platforms will help to Colombian gamers to grow up? Streaming or yes. esports? Streaming platforms? Yes, like... Oh, absolutely. Like Twitch? Like Twitch, yeah. Mixer. So uh, one of the projects we have is a streaming platform for Sony, uh, incorporating Twitch content as well as other content. Absolutely. What it's going to do is it's going to educate uh, players to uh, how to be successful, Uh, whether they're doing their own individual games amongst their friend group or they're trying to break into uh, more league play. Uh, what would you do to uh, get starting and want to become professional? What wish? Uh... Wow. Um, you know, Andy made a joke, uh, move next to a, a server farm <laughs> that yes. uh, removes the latency. Um, but that'll all be solved, especially in Latin America. Um, I would say... Like any sport, stick to the dream, um, share knowledge, absorb the knowledge, uh, focus. Don't try and be great at every game. Uh, pick the game that you know you're good at and uh, work on that. And, and be competitive and don't be afraid to lose. And don't be frustrated when you do because uh, it's a part of life. Well, and the last question, a, a message for the Colombian gamers, a message that you would like to say. If uh, Colombian gamers are as talented as Colombian coders and designers, then the world has got to watch out. Because uh, to be successful in esports, you've got to be passionate. And there is no place that I know, as an American, um, that has more passion in bringing, in bringing passion to what they do than Colombia. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, it's why my business is here and has been here for almost 20 years. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.